everybody welcome back to my channel it is Angela again and we're here to do a little crafting project again in our journal so today I was working on my lilac lovelies journal yesterday and I thought mm, I quite fancy uh, showing you how to make this because a you don't know how to do it for your lilac lovelies journal but I thought it would make a great addition to our wildflower journals at once so effectively I'm <laughs> I am striking two birds with one stone. That sounds terrible, doesn't it? But you know what I mean. Okay, so let me show you the lilac one. I used an envelope um, to go into my journal. And, uh, well, I'll leave the signature there. Um, I have transformed this envelope into two separate envelopes. My signature will go along that fold line in the middle there. I made two little pockets over here with two pieces of ephemera that slide in. You're able to put something in there as well. That would be closed when it's sewn in. Um, we've got some lace that's pretty on the side. And then on the, each side we have another little pocket. Um, and we've just got a little card with a bit of ribbon on there. And then a little card with a little bit of a ribbon on there. So not very difficult at all. Um, anybody can try this. So if you are new to journaling and you've never worked with an envelope before, this is your opportunity to follow along with me and create something um, fun with this. So I promise you there's no tricky bits really. Okay, so that's what we're, I did with the lilac one. So I thought we could do exactly the same, but obviously with a different kit for our wildflower journal. So let's go and do that. What will you need? So the very first thing that you need is I had these very large envelopes that I don't really use. And I'm going to get on to a little bit about um, being frugal and watching um, how you can uh, save on the pennies and make everything go a lot further. So that's going to be my sort of discussion topic today because, you know, it's very much in people's minds. And I do want people to know that, um, you know, you don't have to go and spend a lot of money to get into this hobby. Um, there's so many things that you do have around that we can actually use. Right, so I'll get on to that. Now, this envelope is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine inches wide by six and uh, just short of six and a half inches in this in this width, in the width. All right, that is I think it's two twenty eight or twenty two point eight centimeters, and this way it is sixteen point two. All right, so that's what you're looking at. You don't need to have these exact measurements. Just go and grab a la large mailer that's come in the post. We're not needing any windows on it. It doesn't matter if it's got windows or not. It doesn't matter if you don't have the flap. It doesn't, none of that matters. All right, so just go and grab one and um, we will work with what you have. So that's the first thing. When you're trying to be frugal, I, if, if you don't know me or you haven't seen my channel before, I have a whole playlist just on the different types of things you can do with envelopes or mailers. Um, and I must have, I've put in everything there, even if I haven't called it an exciting envelope. Um, and I promise you there must be over 50 projects that you can use just for something that would have ended up otherwise in the bin. All right, so that's the first thing. And I love envelopes, you know I do. Right, so we've got um, some bits to cover here. And I want to just uh, talk you through how I am going to how I did that now the first thing is I'm going to use this paper now I'm using all my wildflower wishes um, digital pages you know that I sell them in my Etsy store and um, I do sell them as digitals and as printed kits so go on over and have a look there if you're interested now uh, this one's got some tricky bits here I'm going to tell you how I did that first of all make sure your envelope flap is down if you don't have an envelope flap, um, this one is one and a half inches. So you're looking at four centimeters. You can just take a strip of four centimeters or one and a half inches. You can make it, um, I would actually make it uh, two inches or five centimeters. Just a little extra bit to stick it onto your mailer that you've already slit off. So that's the first thing. If you don't have the flap. All right, so you can make a false flap. Now, what I did here was I took, uh, cut out a piece of paper the exact size 
of uh, this uh, piece here it was just a uh, hair's breadth so like one or two millimeters so you're looking at one sixteenth of an inch if less um smaller than the sides on each side all right then uncut slide the piece of paper um, into your envelope like that as far down as it as it will go and when it's there you'll have a little bit sticking out here um, of your paper and then to get those shapes you just draw around that piece of paper um, obviously I've done it so you can't see the, 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 the excess and then pull it out and cut along the line you've drawn there and that will be a perfect shape for that all right so that's the first thing and I'm going to start sticking this down with my glue right um yes yeah, so I wanted to talk to you about being thrifty because it was one of the questions that I've had and I've got a few things to say about that which will possibly help you some of these things you probably know some of them if you knew you definitely probably haven't thought about them but yeah the home is a great place to to look for things and my first um, statement on finding things for journaling and making journals is you need to think differently you need to think in a recycling mode and you need to try and get into the headspace of this item is not what it's actually designed for now you've got to start thinking of it in a different way completely look at things and think what can I do with this? All right, so that's the first thing. Um, especially when it comes to tags on clothing that you might have bought or gift packaging or food packaging. Um, I mean, we are fortunate in the UK that we get a lot of recycled uh, cardboard on food packaging. We have overpackaged food in this country. Um, so, you know, we get a lot of sleeves, which really they don't need, but... Um, it's made from recycled card and I'm able to use a lot of that. Um, I'm trying to find a piece on my desk here. So for example, this is from Envelope Box and I've drawn on here, but this is a beautiful ivory color card and you can use that. All right, so even if it's cereal boxes, if you use normal paper to print on and you're wanting to make your cards a little, like your tags, for example, a little bit firmer, don't be afraid to use your uh, cereal boxes or pasta boxes, even if it's grey underneath, because you can always line it with a piece of lining paper. So what have I got on the back of this? Something like that, and it'll give it rigidity. All right, so be very mindful of food packaging and what you can use for it for, as well as the Amazon packaging, because that's another great one. Right, for this little bit in here, you could go and stick down this bit, but I wanted a bit of a contrasting colour. So what I've done is I've cut a strip here. This is one inch in width, so two and a half centimetres. I have inked it on three sides. I'm going to tuck that uh, very gently into there and line it up with our fold line. So you don't want a complete piece. It's going to hamper the folding of, of your little bit here. So I'm going to just turn this over and while I'm putting the glue on. I'm going to carry on talking. So yes, go and have a look at the packaging. You'd be surprised. Things like acetate, which are the clear windows that you get in packaging, are great to use for window envelopes if you want to make anything with a window. Um, often on cakes or uh, gift packs as well. Um, you know, that's definitely what you can use. The other thing is... Um, cellophane bag so for example if you buy um, an item from tim holtz it has those uh, cellophane little clear bags that the card is put onto save the card because you'll use that but also the cellophane bag because it's going to make a beautiful window so that's the kind of thing i'm wanting you to to sort of hang on to and i do have a big box here of of things that i've saved <laughs> from the trash um, and you know I'm going to make use of right for this bit over here again you want to trace your pattern piece so you want to put your piece of paper on uh, behind bigger than this obviously um, so line it up where you want it you want to line it up just to the right of this fold line you want to take your pencil draw around it you'd have your pattern piece like that okay so you want um, two one for this side I just want to, I'm going to just put the glue on here, I think. 
and one for the other at the front of this so so packaging is great and i use it for all sorts of things um the other thing is don't forget about uh items for storage so you don't need to have fancy containers for storage you you can this is you know whether you're starting off or you're looking for ways to store things be very mindful again of do your takeouts come out our, our curries for example come in little plastic containers if you buy a takeaway um, and they make great with little lids so you can use those um, if you don't have that think about storage jars do you buy jam or mayo or stuff like that uh, those are great jars for storing all sorts coffee and tea jars you know all that sort of stuff tins you know I, f I find that a lot of people when you go to the charity stores um have lots of tins that they um seem to find in their decorative tins that is um coffee chocolate all sorts of biscuit tins those make great places as well um I've received uh, all sorts of gift boxes, you know, perfume gift boxes, um, not necessarily for me, but gift sets, I should say. And those also make a great um, container to store scraps of paper or all sorts of things. So, yeah, I look at everything that arrives here, especially Christmas, birthdays, gift times or just any day of the week. And I look at it and think, can I use that? and I keep it if I think I can. Um, I do have a limit on how many containers. I've got two containers that has to house everything. And if it's not, if I've got enough of that, for example, um, I've got a lot of the HP Ink program. They send me a little box and um, I have used quite a few of those to send off because the bigger box they send me fits a mini journal in perfectly. Um, so I use that. But I do have a limit because I get a lot of those, um, you know, on what I use. They also make a great size for making a, a little journal as well. So, you know, you've got that as well. Right, I'm just sticking on the other side. As I mentioned, you need two of these. So I'm just using this pretty paper. So there we go. So I've got that there and now what I want to do is I want to put on paper here so this is easy you're just measuring and I've used my collage pages here um, this is in a digital and a printed kit as you would have known if you follow me all these things are available in my Etsy store at the minute um, right uh, this is just going to fill that whole page there so I'm going to just stick that down Okay, so yeah, grab hold of jars, jam jars, you know, all sorts of things to house little beads, look for buttons, go through your jewellery. Um, and a very important thing, if you have family members or neighbours and, and they know that you're looking for things to craft with as well, um, I do have lots of friends that send me things. Um, I've even had people send me Amazon packaging in the post because they know I like it. Um, so, you know, or they might have a necklace that might have broken or they want to get rid of things. You know, don't just say to them, look, um, these are the sorts of things I look for. Fabric is another one. You know, people often get rid of that. Um, or clothing. Clothing is a great one. And you know that you can use clothing that's can be uh, disassembled for its buttons, its lace, its ties, its fabric, whatever it is that um, you think you might be able to use from it. So jewellery, beads, all sorts of lovely things. So yeah, that's what I do and I do save a lot of things. A lot of my fabrics are secondhand um, and you know you can share with your friends as well, so other people that you might know. So that's what I would like to say to you there. Lunch bags is another one where we did a project and you can recycle that. So there's a lot of recycling going on with things that, um, you know, are around the house. That's the first thing. Right. Now, what I'm going to do um, quickly is I've got all the bits glued down. And what I want to do quickly, and this is not a must, 
I do want to just do a little stitch row around here. Okay, so we have stitched around it on the front side here. So that looks lovely and neat. Um, and then uh, it obviously comes through on this side. And my way to flatten those holes is just to run your bone folder over them. And you can see it does make it look so much better. So just I'm just doing that on two sides because I'm going to stick my lace on, on this, these sides here. Okay, so I've got my butterfly lace and I just want to stick it sort of over the stitch line here. So I'm just using my fabric tack quickly. So we've got that there and then we'll start at the top. Just using a little bit there like that. Try and keep it straight. That looks pretty straight. Okay, and then um, we can just lift that up. Now, obviously, you can um, make the attempt to sew, stick this underneath your layer if you would prefer. And that works perfectly well. Um, it does take a bit of your lace away though, but that's all right. Um, the fabric tag works very well. All right, while that is drying then, um, we've got a couple of things that we need to put down. Now, um, I want to sort out my little top over here. Now, the reason why I want to separate this is if you sew this down, uh, you won't be able to pick it up. So you need to make um, find the central point here before you do that. Now, the way to do that is just to fold this over and... Um, you can just join those two up there and then find the central point. Okay, and then we can open it up. Righty tighty. Now, I've got a piece of packaging here. I'm going to just make this straight, make myself a little template. So I'm going to just make this straight. What I want to do is I'm going to lie this up like that on right on the corner at the bottom there. Then I have I'm going to just take my pencil and run that around. OK, so I've got that and then I'm going to cut that out. It's going to give me a little template to do on the other side now all right so that's how you make a little template when you've got something you want on the other side now you've got your halfway mark here and you can draw that with your ruler because we're going to cut this bit off anyway so i've got that's my half my fold line and i'm just drawing in my pencil line there so that's the halfway mark but i also want to make sure that i move this slightly over because i don't want this edge to get caught so I'm going to move it over slightly, so like 1 16th of an inch, like that. And I've got this at the top of my page now, and I'm going to draw in the little template. I'm going to turn it now from that side to that side. Do exactly the same, 1 16th, line it up with the top here, that's the most important, the top here, 1 16th away. And we're going to just draw our little line in there. So if you can see now, we've got those in there. And then it's just a case of um, taking your scissors and cutting carefully along those lines. So I'm going to do that up into that point and push that one down. And then... like that and then with my little knife I'm going to just 
cut off that bit in the middle. There we go. All right, so now we've got our two flaps and we've got a bit of a gap because when the signature gets sewn in, you don't want any of these getting caught on the side of it. All right, so you just take your distress ink. Looks like it was there all the time, all the time. Okay, so we've got that ready. Now we are ready to put on our little pockets. So I have got on this side, um, I've cut out two of the checked, um, I nearly said fabric, pockets. This one's a bit skew. <laughs> I just noticed that now. So I'm just going to make that straighter. There we go. Um, so I'm going to put one on that side and one on the other side. So we're going to get those stuck down. And that I'm going to just use my normal art glitter glue. So we're going to get these stuck down on three sides. So let's get that. Now I'm sticking it close to the bottom because bearing in mind you want to put a tag in here. You don't want it to mess with this too much. Although you could make it longer to keep your flap down if that's what you prefer. Now just to make sure that I get this right I will use my um, ruler in a minute. So I want to just get my glue on here. Like that. I'm going to just use my ruler so that I know I've got it straight. So like that. And then I just need to gauge the edge, which is like that. There we go. So those look pretty straight, I think. Mm, that one can come down a bit. There we go. Okay. So there's that and then I've just had some little um, strips that I've cut out so these aren't very wide they're three quarters of an inch so about two centimeters I'm going to just stick these down here so these are just from my backing papers Not that you're going to see what's happening on the other side of the page. So, you know, you won't have that. But here we go. Then I've just taken two of my two inch um, images that are in my add-on kit. And I'm just going to stick these down. I'm going to put one there and one there. This one's got the green edge. So I'm putting it on the peach base. So it just gives finishes it off nicely. Really easy. Um, now somebody asked me about the different pieces and um, that I have in the add-on kit and what they're used for. Well, you can use them for pieces for whatever you think you want to use them for because there's no right or wrong. Although some do have um, uh, specific details and I'll go through that another time. But the circles are more decorative and they can be used however you feel. So that's everything for this side. Um, on here I've got two cards I'm going to slide that one in there um, and the peach one I'm going to put in the side so I'll just back them with um, and as I said you can make it longer if you want to keep that closed but I'm not going to worry with that you can always put a velcro thing on there and this is plenty space to to keep goodies in there so if you turn this over we are now going to do the other side so i've got um this piece i've cut out here so this is more or less it's four inches by five inches All right so that's 10 by 12 and a half centimeters the last um half inch i folded over just to give me some rigidity so this is just a guide because obviously it'll depend on the size of your envelope okay you just want to fold that down for both of these and i've got a green one as well so same here 
um, the stripy paper from the kit down like that. That's just going to make that edge of the pocket now nice and firm. Okay. Um, then I'm just taking a punch. I'm using my tab punch because um, I'm going to just make one of these. You can use a circle punch to do this. Just moving it a bit over. See, I've just gripped the front of it there like that. And by taking that out, it's just like a little thumb knot spot. Then to get that the same on the other side, I'm doing it on the side with a double paper. And just to get that right on the other side, just put them together and take your pencil and draw a line so that you can see where the next one needs to go. And again, I've just got it on that line like that. And there we have those ready to go. Okay. Right, so now it's just a case of deciding, right, that one's going to go this side and that one's going to go that side, whichever one you want where. Okay, now I'm going to push them further to the middle so that I've got a space here for my little card to go in. I like to draw my lines, so I'm gauging the distance is pretty much even and it looks straight. I'm not measuring it. You can if you want. I'm just drawing my lines here and then I'm going to do the same with this one. This just helps me for when I'm sticking things down. Okay, so again, I'm going to just put my glue on the edge here. We're making a little pocket. Get a decent amount of glue on there and then look for your lines so I can see mine here. I'm going to line it up with that corner at the bottom and along there. And it just takes the stress out of trying to line them up when you've got a spot that you are aiming for. And then the same on the side. See the notch is facing the lace and that one too. That one's a bit lower, but that's okay, because when the other signature's here, you're not going to see it. Now, I've just got a couple of bits that I'm going to put on here. So, I'm going to put on this bit of uh, ribbon there, and I've got a green one. These come from the kits that I was um, bought from Plum Boutique, so that are linked, the ribbon kits. Okay, so we're just going to take the fabric tack and we're going to just stick some of that down here for our glue um, to adhere the ribbon. So you've got your stripe, so it's not too bad just to try and guess where that needs to go. So yeah, you can easily line that up pretty easily and make sure it's nice and straight. And then if you've got any extra and you want to trim that off, then you can do that. So that's the one, and then just the other one as well. So we'll put that over here. Okay, so those are done. Quite happy with that. Then I'm going to put on a little sentiment. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to put on a little sentiment. So I'm going to put the green one on there. And these come from my ephemera and sentiment kit. And then I've got that one to go over there. But before I do that, I'm just going to stick down the flowers. So I've got some of the wildflower dyes that I'm going to stick on. Okay, so we've got all of those down and I've got the two sentiments, as I said, so I'm going to just stick these down now and that should hold everything down as well. Give it a little bit of extra plastering. <laughs> 
So yeah, we'll get those down. Um, so that one's going to go here. And then this one will go here and that'll decorate our little pockets up as well. So it's just a case of getting this into our journal file now and getting our um, cards in. It's too hot for that glue today. <laughs> it's taking strain. Let's get that into our book. Right, so we've got our little book here. Just move that out the way. And our little insert. I've just earmarked where I want to put it. So we've got it um, at this page here. So this is the middle page. And I'm going to put it on this lacy page here, like that. And we'll put that one on top. So you can see that it's going to go in the halfway mark there. Um, and that's going to brighten up that page beautifully and match it. Love, it's perfect. Um, and then we can turn that over and we can put in our cards. So let's put in the cards quickly. Um, made a little peachy one and a little green one. So I'm going to just do alternates. So I'm going to put the peach one in here. This is just ephemera uh, from my ephemera kit. And then just ribbon from Plum Boutique. Um, so you'll get all of these images in that ephemera and sentiments kit. So we'll get that in there, like that. Oops, there we go. And now we can turn it over, it's all ready to go. And that then can go back <laughs> in the middle and um, We've got that all like that now. So when you turn that over, you've got that. Then you've got that. Lots of pockets. You've got your center spread. You've got that on that side. And you can see the gap there is perfect just to make sure that it's not going to get caught. And then it will go over that side as well. Right, I just need to burnish that a bit more, I think. And then when you close it all together, it's part of your... Um, your signature just like that all right so let's get that i hope that you've enjoyed that everybody um and had fun with that i i love working with envelopes and a great frugal way to take something that would otherwise end up in the bin so guys um until friday where i hope to show you sewing in of the two signatures um for the lilac journal um i hope you wish you a great week and um, nice relaxing time for yourself time to craft time to do whatever you choose and until friday i will see you guys then stay well everyone bye bye